Hello there. Well, I've been trying out margin trading. Um, I'm really new to this. I have really no idea. When I first started out, I've watched some YouTube videos. Um, and Lumbridge City has been quite helpful in giving me some courage to actually give it a go. Um, I'll put a link to the video uh, below uh, that really was quite helpful. So I've... Um, it's the only thing is that it's quite hard to show in the settlements and the trade history. Um, it's very complicated in terms of showing what what's occurred, but um, I've been <laughs> I've been trying a few different um, options. Now I focused on Ethereum. Now I noticed. Um, let's see. A day, two days ago, I think, I noticed that um, we seem to be hitting a bottom of around uh, 3591 on Ethereum. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of demand starting to build up. There's still over 1,400 Bitcoin of demand. This is even more than the, the amount of demand for BitShares. And it keeps rising and rising. So um, I went in at some various positions. I, I kept going in and getting very scared because it, the problem with margin trading is that you start, as in this example, the price you put in, it's hard to exactly say, but you're, you're about, let's see, um, I would say you're about 3% offside immediately because if you've got... Um, let's see, you have the interest, which I believe is taken account of, but also you have the fee, which is in the order of quarter of a percent in addition. Um, and it doesn't seem to just give you what you bought. So you, you, you all start off down, and that's not very encouraging when you're first beginning, because all you see is lots and lots of um, red facing you. So I went in and out um, a couple of times. As I say, it's quite hard to show you which ones. Um, but I think I was only um, ever making like half a percent before I chickened out. But what I did last night was, and I'm trying to find the right one. So let's see. Let's, uh, I think it's this one. So I went in. Three seven, three seven nine. I don't think so. I'm uh, trying to get my brain around that one. No, that's not it. I went in, and you can see all these lending fees. These these are the um, the interest rates you pay, um, which are they. At first, you think they're adding up to a very significant amount, but actually, you, you've got a good day or so before it really starts to cut into any profit, depending, of course, on the trade you're doing. Um, so it's none of these, I don't think. Hang on. Um, sorry about this. Was it this one? Ethereum. And, yep, that was one. And, okay, so here it is. I went, I went in on a margin trade. I took out, so it was 110 Ethereum coins, which is a huge amount. Um, I decided to go for it. And the trade was looking horrible for a long time. Um, but then over, I, and what I did actually is just walked away. Um, I switched it off. I just made a, a view that I was making the right choice and that um, Ethereum coin had enough buy signal in it for it to, to raise or to rise. So, let's see, I went in at three, what was it? So, three, eight, six, nine. Three, eight. God, it seems like a year ago. Yeah, so I went in there, and uh, and it went down, in fact. Um, and then it recovered, and then suddenly shot up <laughs> while I uh, was asleep. Which is probably just as well, because I would have chickened out on quite a few of the downturns. Anyway, 
at the end I was able to sell let me see yes was it there exchange yeah so I sold the 110 um, for a price of four zero uh, two two six eight which doesn't seem like a great deal um, I think the profit on that uh, let's see yeah it was 0 0.0147 Bitcoin which roughly uh, not exactly but roughly works out to about three dollars fifty which is a return of three percent based on the whole leveraged position of going in at 0.42 Bitcoin and coming out at 0.44 so it doesn't look like much of a return but when you look at uh, what you actually contributed yourself it was of the order of uh, 0.16 I believe so in fact when you look at that return of 0 0.0147 it's in the order of about eight nine percent return on the actual uh, money that you risked I'm not sure if that's an accurate way of looking at it but in effect um, three dollars fifty US is a very good return and the exciting thing for me was I just worked out how to do a short and I did a short in BitShares and a short means that you are margin trading uh, a sell and this is hard to explain so I won't try because I'm not very good at it but I figured out that what you do is you're not owning any coin you are buying at a high price and you're selling at a low price and the difference you're allowed to keep uh, it could be wrong but I think that's how it works anyway I just tried it very small amount because I'm uh, I'm a big chicken when it comes to margin trading because you always see these films like margin call and the Chinese uh, Shanghai stock market was brought down recently by margin trading because everyone's over leveraged for the bubble um, but I was able and this one's really hard to show but I, I so it shows you as a sell um, on BitShare so I started at um, uh, 2860 of a thousand bit shares and it wobbled but then went my way and in the end the settlement I sold at so let's see so 2860 and sold at 2780 and the diff so in effect um, I started off with a thousand bit shares and I s sold or bought I'm not sure which <laughs> Uh, 1015 and I'm allowed to keep the difference which is of the order of let's say uh, after um, after charges is about 13.4 which works out at 0.00037 Bitcoin which is a very small amount but um, I was really pleased with that um, <laughs> meanwhile ooh, and and here's here was a good thing I'm really pleased with this is that it was all going down nicely um, it was going you know 2800 uh, sorry 2799 and I was thinking oh this is just going to go all the way but then I went and looked at the chart on I was looking at this chart which gives you a false picture so I went to 24 hour chart and I was about at this point and then I realized there was a support coming up um, and so this support um, was around the the two seven let's see it was two seven eight eight to two seven ninety and I realized that it's not going to keep going down it's going to try this support level at least for a bit and we're going to see um, whether that support is enough to stabilize the price or whether it will break down below so luckily I remember to check that and I sold just exactly at the right time because if I stayed in I would now be losing money talking of losing money um, when it comes to ethereum ethereum is um, is a tough one to be in 
it I don't think anyone believes it's going to go back to its highs of before of around zero uh, zero five let's see it was uh, five seven at one point even up to six zero um, we're way way down it's quite extraordinary how far down um, but I've always believed Ethereum, it's just come out as a platform. People are using it. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's uh, got some issues. And I think that's where the volatility is coming from. So um, I still think there's some life in this yet. I still think overnight it's um, going to go above 0 0.0042. Um, there's a little bit of action occurring now, which... You see here, um, my base price after charges and everything. I'm only doing 10 Ethereum because I'm just feeling less <laughs> confident. Um, so my base price is uh, 0 0.004150. And currently, um, and it's actually on the buy, it's, so it's your largest buy order that you can, um, that the volume can meet your buy order. That sets this difference on the margin. So, at the moment, given that I've my uh, base price is four one five zero, and I'm at four one four zero, so that's um, that's too low. So this has to go up to four one six zero before I start to see this turn green. Um, looking at the amount of market depth, I think that's a fairly safe bet for the moment. I think we're going to test this resistance um, that's coming up. And when you look on a bigger chart, it's about here. That this seems to be you know, around the 420, uh, sorry, the 0042 level will be one of the resistance points. I would say it matches up to quite a few uh, what were. Uh, support levels and then if it does break through I would say it's going to go up to around the 4.7 and if it ever breaks through that it seems like a hell of a long way to go but I sort of feel that eventually it is going to get back to the at least the 5.5 to 5.7 I mean who knows um, but it just feels like there's a lot of life in this coin yet anyway I won't wait until um, this goes green but I will get out fairly quickly after that because I'm not super confident because I do feel we're coming up to a resistance level that uh, would mean it's a bit foolish to stay in um, and I'm waiting I suppose what I need is around uh, let's see if it just could hit 4-2 which it seems to be heading but uh, the buy orders don't move that's the frustrating thing buy orders are always more conservative than the sell orders in terms of people seem to wait and wait and wait, hoping for someone to just give in and, and sell. Um, you can see the the total um, demand um, for Ethereum is just huge, much, much higher than BitShares at the moment. Anyway, that's margin trading. Um, it's been a real, it's pretty, it's pretty nerve wracking. I'm not sure I, I'd want to do that every day until I'm super confident that I know what I'm doing. Um, but it's quite fun. <laughs> Um, risking huge amounts of um, imaginary Bitcoin, which, of course, you know, the great thing is that um, the chances of actually being liquidated are quite low on some of these coins. It's not any huge surprises coming, I reckon, if you know what you're doing on the charts. Anyway, uh, I'll sign off with that, and uh, thanks again for all the feedback, and uh, please subscribe so you can keep up to date on these videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.